the year is 2096. The world has been taken over by zombies. All of the power to homes, including electricity and gas, has been cut off. But fortunately, STEM Learning have produced a guide to surviving the zombie apocalypse called Can You Survive a Zombie Apocalypse? And what we're going to look at today is one of the activities that will help you survive. So this is called uh, Solar Snacks, and this is an investigation to create a solar oven. So we're going to see how we can do this. So within the resource, there is a template for a parabola. Whoop, there it is, and I've cut it out of the resource. And um, a parabola basically is a shape which has a focus, which you can see on there, and a red dot. So that if we add in something reflective, in, reflective into that parabola shape, it will all focus, all lines will focus on that point. So if light comes into it, we can reflect all the light onto that point and heat something up. That's the idea. So all we're going to need for this is um, a couple of pieces of cardboard and some tin foil. Let's see how we get on. So I've cut out my parabola template and I've also got some cardboard and I'm going to draw around the shape of the parabola um, onto the cardboard and then cut out two parabola shaped bits of cardboard. I've cut out my two um, parabolas from the cardboard and you'll notice that I've also marked the point on both of them uh, where the focus is. Now you don't have to do this bit but I've decided to cut a piece of cardboard the same length as the width of the kitchen foil that I'm going to use. The cardboard that I've cut out is going to act as a bit of a base um, that I'm going to stick little cocktail sticks into and my marshmallows on top rather than having a skewer going between the two focuses just because I haven't got any long skewers so um, it's going to be a little bit of a different design but basically doing the same job as you can see I've now got my parabolic sections at each end uh, taped onto the, the foil in between and I've also stuck on the bottom of mine a bit of a cardboard um, base so it kind of stays a bit more stable. So the next thing to do is to add in some cocktail sticks that will go up just to the height of where I've got the focus so that we can see if it works as our solar cooker. So as you can hopefully see I've got little cocktail sticks with marshmallows on the end I didn't I couldn't get big marshmallows I only got mini ones um, but this is these are at the height of my focus point so I've got four of them along the way of my solar oven so I'm going to show you I'm going to take it into the sun normally what you would have done would be to run here's my little bit of grass to demonstrate run a skewer along the length might not be this long you'd run a screw along the length of it and then stick your marshmallows or whatever you wanted to cook along the length. So now if I leave this out in the sun then those little marshmallows should be at the focus point. Got a bit of wind here so I might just use something to weigh it down. The other thing that I'm going to try out is that on my phone I've got a lux meter so I'm going to use that just to stick at that point to see whether I'm getting a big change in the reading on my lux meter. At the moment, um, the illuminance is showing that's 6,000, 7,000, yeah, about 6,000 in that position. If I take it down into here, yeah, at that point it raises up to 7,200, 7,800, 
if I lift it up a little bit from there, it goes down actually at that position, it's only at 4,000. So going from four, four, 5,000 into here, going up to about 7,300. So you can see that there is a difference just by bringing it into my solar reflector. Uh, we'll leave these here for a bit and see if they actually get all melty. So after 15 minutes, um, I can't say that they've gone gooey exactly. It does feel, when you get your hand in there, it feels nice and warm at that point there, but maybe not quite warm enough to toast them. Um, so what I could do if I was to do this again, maybe create some bigger templates, you could scale these up so that you get a, a higher, bigger parabola. So here's a reminder of the equipment that you'll need to have a go at this. Um, some of these things are optional. Um, you can also download these from the website stem.org.uk in the resource pack. And we'd really love to see your designs for this. Good luck with creating your solar ovens and happy making.